Hi there, I'm Tracy Bowman from T.A. Bowman Studios in Buzzards Bay and Bowman for Art on Facebook. And I am looking to do some violet flowers. I saw this color from Amsterdam and I thought, ooh, I need that. So I'm going to do an 8x8 canvas. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, let me get you down on the canvas. Hold on. All right. So I am going to use Color to Go by Sherwin Williams. And this color is called Snowbound. Uh oh. Can't get the top off. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I find you have to clean the rim each time, otherwise the paint fuses the top on. <clears throat> I'll probably need a little bit more. Oh, looks like it should have been shaken or stirred, which I did not do. Let's do that right here. <laughs> Silly me. I like to bring it out to the edge. And I'm typically not too shy with my house paint. I really like to have good coverage and I don't want to do it after the fact. I want it to happen before. All right. And I do spin it out hard <clears throat> because when I do my flowers, I do not want them to, oop, there's a goober in there. Um, I do not want them to fly off the page. Oop, come to mama. I do not want them to fly off the page or the canvas. I want them to stay put. I really want to get most of the paint off the canvas so the flowers kind of stay in place and don't slip right off the edge. Okay, now I'm looking to see my edges. They're all covered. They look great. They look great. Yep, they look terrific. All right. So when I do my flowers, I, I, on this size canvas, I like to do two of them. And my center is about here, so I'm going to put my flowers off center. Ooh, I just had a thought. I want to do one and one. I'm going to do one, and then I'm going to reverse the colors. So this flower will get a deep purple center and this flower will get a violet center. So that'll be great. All right, so leaves. I put two on that side, but just one on this side. And I'll make it a good size. 
because it'll just be one. That way it'll give me a little negative space on either side. And I like my color, my leaves to be variegated. I like that idea of this little bit of green in the center. <clears throat> It'll show up in between them, I think. This is, um, so my leaves are sap green by uh, Academy Acrylic. And the light color is uh, Green Flash by Arteza. And this brown color is um, Espresso by Deco Art Metallics. And this gold color is Fine Gold by Golden. Liquid. It's a liquid, not a <clears throat> different thing. So, okay. Ooh, and how much cell activator do I have? One thing I didn't check. Silly me. Okie dokie. I mix it up by the teaspoon. My Australian Floetrol, this is Australian Floetrol in Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. And I mix it up by the teaspoon, three teaspoons of Floetrol to one teaspoon of paint. And this is that mini blower, mini leaf blower. There'll be a link to it in the description. This kind of helps me have a little bit more control. I prefer it. Okay, now we'll let them sit and do their thing. Now, we will play with the flowers. But I think, ooh, I got some of that too. I'll do that as well. Just stirring up my cell activator, excuse me. It seems thicker than usual. All right, I'm gonna mix up some more cell activator, hold on. So now that I mixed up, or I didn't mix it yet, I have my Floetrol. I mix it up by the tablespoon because I, I plan to paint a lot this week. So. I have my Floetrol in here and my paint, and I love this little um, whisk. And I can use this with my Floetrol because it's much thinner, so it doesn't hold on to the bubbles like the paint does. This really mixes it up well. And then I wash it immediately. I just swish it in water and it works great. Now I see a little bit left in the bottom there. 
in the ridge of the cup. So we're mixing that up good. All right. And this is important, and I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm going to tilt the... So we want... Where are we? Here we are. Okay. We want this to have a stretchy consistency. Do you see how it stretches? That's what you want it to do. You want to make sure that it has that. Um, all righty. So now we're going to put a little violet in the center of the dark purple. <laughs> in and frame. Sorry. A little dark purple in the center of the violet. Now this is glorious gold, which is different than the fine gold. It's a little deeper. Put that in the center. Of each. All right. I am gonna use two cell activators. This is white. Titanium white. I only have a tiny bit left in here. Which is all I need. Just a drop. Just need a drop. Just to help. All right. Now the Payne's Gray cell activator. All right, so the one, the flower you blow out last will be your prominent one. I'm gonna go with this one first, getting right in the center of that bullseye. Okay, and the next one. Using the mini blower, is a learning curve on its own. You have to hold it up high and bring it on down and, and, and making sure that you're catching right in the center like a bullseye, and then you can blow it out. All right, now we can play with the leaves. They have settled. Now we need a paper towel to clean our skewer off. We're gonna modify it some. Try to give the leaves a bit of interest as well. OK. 
Okie dokie. All right, now you can see that the flowers have settled and collected well. Now we'll play with them. And you bring the petals in, but not all the way to the center. You want that, all that supercell action to be the center of your flower. So I love these skewers and I, I use the fat end to work with my petals. Oops, sorry. I use the fat end to work with my petals. You can't even see what I'm doing. Isn't that terrible? Um, and I use this end to, you know, to squirrel and modify. So here I'm going with the flat end or the fatter end. It has a flat spot on it, so I use that. Let me bring it in. Not in frame. I hope you get the gist of it anyway. I will post it. It's very shiny on here today. to modify the leaves or the petals a bit. Okay. All right, now we'll give it a spin. go. We got a bit of our negative space, so we can have fun with that now. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll take my green skewer take a different skewer and I'm going to make some little dots here. two-tone them. <laughs> I'm almost holding my breath. <laughs> okay. 
there we go. Now, I'm going to dip my pointy end of the skewer into the paint and I'm going to draw like that. And dip again. So the little heart-shaped flowers. Green. This now I'm using the other end. And I dip again in the pointy end in the green. I'm going to go from above the dot and draw right through. can't seem to stop doing this. sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. bring you down closer you can see that deep purple flower and the little fun flowers and then over here the violet really is sweet I hope you liked that video and I hope you enjoyed that color <laughs> I try to keep it interesting and switching it up often so, thanks again for watching, and uh, like and subscribe so you can see what comes next, and uh, thanks very much. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you, and happy painting. <laughs>